Hi everyone, in this video we're going to test out the flex fault cutoff saw, specifically cutting an existing concrete pathway slab. So what we've got here is we've got a concrete pour that's coming up and you've got damaged concrete in the middle. To get a nice clean edge for the new concrete to meet up, you're going to have to cut it off. Now usually you would get a concrete cutter and come and cut a piece of concrete like that. Some guys might go ahead and use a 9 inch grinder, but we thought we'd give the flex fault saw a chance and see how, how good a cut we can get and see if it's practical to do it that way as well. So while there's only an 83mm cut depth, we're still going to cut in and we're going to see if we can break away this piece of concrete. So, got the hose connected and I'm running a 6 amp battery. I recommend 12. So that's the first battery done. I was actually quite impressed that it did that much, to be honest. I'll put another battery in and see how far I get. So that's the second battery, We've got the there, We're just about done. I would call this the most extreme circumstance that I would use this saw. But also this concrete's probably been here for about 30 years, so hard concrete. Like any tool, it's not just having the tool that gets the job done, it's using the tool in the correct fashion. As I was putting it through, I wasn't forcing it, I was letting the blade do the cutting. Occasionally the saw would cut out. And that's just part of the safety features that are built into the, to the saw. It also has, on the top it has a light. So as you're cutting and that light turns on, it usually means that you just gotta back it off a little bit. You can keep going, but just back off the pressure. I think it's done done pretty good and if you have this saw you're not just using it to cut concrete like this you're using it for a whole lot of other tasks on site. When I think about the applications that the saw is most suited to I see it being an essential piece of kit if you're doing a lot of remodels and renovation work. In my experience that could be things like cutting slabs for new services, removal of old concrete footings, removing old stucco from walls just to name a few. What did we used to do before this tool? Well most of us would have grabbed a nine inch angle grinder and just started cutting with that without dust suppression, probably a respirator on. But for me, owning the saw has made that grinder redundant. Criticism, I would say that the runtime is low compared to other tools on the Flexalt platform, but with good battery management and having higher amp hour batteries on hand and knowing how many batteries you need between charges, you will be able to gauge whether the saw is actually the right tool for the task. So rounding up, my opinion is it's a good saw, it's worth the money. I think that when you have it as part of your kit, you will find more things to do with it than what you realise because it's so portable, it's so easy to use. Um, I love how, how it handles, left handed and right handed. Um, I love the fact that the safety features that are built into it it gives me confidence that if I give someone that tool to use on site, I know that if used correctly, there's a safer alternative to an angle grinder. 